One of the most common questions that I've had recently is, what do you do with your saltwater aquarium during a power outage? Which is a little bit ironic because three days ago, my house was hit by an EF2 tornado. We had three in our city and it tore up all kinds of stuff and we've been out of power for about three days. But as you can see behind me, my tank looks fine. And here's some of the things I did to take care of it. Number one, right off the top, having a generator that you can connect to your system or to your house is always going to be one of the best, if not the best option. We had a generator that we were able to borrow from a friend. We had it run through our system and actually I used my Hydros power strips on my aquarium to split that power up and send it to all kinds of other places. And those power strips did an absolutely great job. So yeah, good job Coral View. Another one of the things that I did was before we got the generator here to the house during the midst of the storm when everything was going crazy, after a couple of hours, I just manually dipped and poured water back into the tank. This is going to reintroduce oxygen and reintroduce a little bit of flow to that water. And this simple thing right here can be what saves your livestock in the long run. Now, when the tank comes back on, the power's back on and everything's running again, your corals and stuff are going to be absolutely pissed. Mine are, but they'll probably be alive. Another thing you can do if you have a little bit of a smaller tank, either freshwater or saltwater, is use a whisk and run it in between your hands just like this back and forth in the tank now this is going to create some water flow in the tank and it's going to add bubbles to the tank as well oxygenating that tank doing the same thing as pouring water in it just works a little bit better for smaller tanks when you do it like this another thing that you can do if it's going to be an extended power outage is go to your local sporting goods store and check where they keep the live bait like minnow buckets and stuff they might have something called a buddy box and it's basically just a battery powered bubbler and you put a couple of D batteries in there, hang it on the side of the aquarium, put the air stone in the aquarium and you're off to the races. Now this thing will run the small pump on the inside providing oxygenation to your tank for eight to 10, sometimes even 12 or more hours depending on how much of a charge the batteries you put in and have. This is by far one of the easiest things that you can get store into a cabinet somewhere and pull it out when the time comes and be good to go. Now, fortunately for us, the temperature right now wasn't a problem here in Louisiana. It was about 70 degrees. It was getting up to about 75 during the day. So the tank never dropped below 75 before we were able to get the generator and get the heaters back on. But one of the things that you can do in the event that that's going to be a problem for you, if you have a way to heat water, you can warm the water up, put it inside a clean water bottle with no labels on the outside or anything like that, and float that in the tank. And believe it or not, you can actually even just wrap the tank with a quilt and that will help retain some of the heat that's already in the water. And controversially, if you're in a hot climate and you can, if you know things are coming your way, you can freeze some water bottles and you can put those in the tank, float them, and this is going to buy you a couple of days before your tank might get too hot for your inhabitants. Of course, having power to your tank is going to be one of the best options. And something like this EcoFlow power bank here can run a heater and it can run a flow device for days on end and potentially save your aquarium from, from its demise. Now, I got this one on Amazon. There is a link down in the description if you want to check this out and see what you think about it. They're three to $500, depending on which one you get. But this simple investment can be what saves your tank from thousands of dollars in losses. Not sponsored, by the way. And so when you're talking about a power outage on a tank, things can go really crazy, really fast. If this is the first time you've seen my channel, why don't you hit the subscribe button and then check out these videos over here that may lead you down a path of asking a question that you didn't even know you had. I'll see you over there.